In this video, we'll be creating a Mongoose form report, then we'll show how we can customize it. Creating a report is as easy as going through the new form wizard and setting the form type to report. On this screen, we can select regions, page orientation, and group properties. Since reports are just a Mongoose form, we can expect the same security, translation, and customization that's inherent with any Mongoose form. We can also extend and personalize these reports at the site, group, and the user level. And of course, they upgrade when new versions come out. Report forms use flex layouts to organize the components. If you're unfamiliar with the flex layout component, we recommend watching our short how-to video found on the Mongoose portal to get the basics before moving on with this one. Let's look at this flex layout's attributes. We can see we have the normal flex layout fields supplemented with some attributes that are specific to report forms. This region, for instance, is a group header, and it has the customer number at the group property. These attributes will be used to determine how these regions are combined to make the report output when we run the report. We can edit component settings in the properties panel just like any other mongoose form. We can create additional regions within a flex layout. Let's put a static on the far right region for the total label. Binding values here is the same too. Click the ellipsis so we can select aggregate value for the data type. This feature was added as part of form reporting and can be used on any Mongoose form. We want to bind it to the summary of the price property that's on our primary collection. And we want to group this result by the customer so we only get the rows for this particular customer. Basically we're getting the customer subtotal here. Let's add another static that's bound to an aggregate value again. This time we won't group the value, so instead of a subtotal, it'll be the total for the entire report. Formatting is the same here too. We can apply the amount var component class to apply numeric formatting through an input mask. Setting insert page break before to true will create a page break before each customer. And we'll also set repeat on new page to true. This attribute's nice because if a group spans more than one page, we'll have the headers appear on each page. Notice these label components stand out because they have a theme assigned to them. Because we're defining this at the theme level, this will apply this theme style on all report labels across all reports. Running the form now shows our updated report. We can see our customer and their orders, and our page headers are repeating. But what if we want to show the notes for our orders? We can do that by adding a sub-report. We'll add a region above subtotals and the region type is detail on the primary collection. Then in the sub-report form parameters, click the ellipsis. Then we can select the form we want for the sub-report. Then click on the set variables button to set the target to row pointer and the value which needs to be p row pointer. Then we also want to show external notes and also internal notes. We only want to pull the sub-report when it's necessary so we can use a visible when expression to do that. We want this to be visible when we have notes so we can use a notes exists flag and only run the sub-report when that flag equals one. Let's also set visible in design mode to true so we can see this field while we're designing. Now if we run the report, we can see our notes are shown, but only when they exist on an order just like we wanted. Now let's look at the PDF version of our report. Clicking the export button at the top will export it as a temp file on our local machine, and we can save it that way or we can run a background task. Form reports can run through background tasks similar to other reports. We use the background task definitions form to create a task with report type form. Now this form report can run through a background task, be scheduled on a background queue, and optionally delivered based on report options like other background tasks. In this example, we create a button to submit the background task. The background task runs and sends the PDF to our output directory for viewing. This example showed a fairly simple report, but keep in mind we can pull any of our data and create a much more robust report like this one very easily. This one includes item description, shipping information, manager, currency values, and much more. We can see how quickly and easily we can create full-featured reports in Mongoose without using any third-party tools, 
and how we can customize nearly everything on the report. For more tutorials, visit the Mongoose portal. For Mongoose news and discussions, follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.